know where you got treated last week because they shook your hand and took your genome, unless that had become sort of uh, linked and your genome is now being registered with your doctor and it's the public, uh, and so on and so forth. The power of privacy is selective sharing. It's deciding when you are ready to share your thoughts and your feelings with other knowledge. It's being able to decide who you trust and how. When people say that, you know, I don't care about privacy uh, because I've got nothing to hide, that's no different than arguing I don't care about freedom of speech because I have nothing to say. Your rights matter, and you never know when you're going to use them. They're collective, not individual. Well, not just individual, they are. Uh, but if you say, you know, I don't really care about this because it's not uh, immediately valuable to me right now in this moment, you're trying to give away a right that is critical to huge amounts of vulnerable people in all kinds of different situations. Uh, and when your rights are lost for a moment, they're lost for a generation. Wait, so I have about 50 more questions to ask. <laughs> I apologize. I told you this was a long time. I know, I know. But uh, it just I'll hit on one last point there, which is I would distinguish between a state coming in without your permission to spy, look on your cameras and so forth. A friend of mine wrote me from India and she said, aren't we always trading privacy for convenience? Aren't we trading privacy to get in... Uh, uh, an Uber faster, or to do a search quicker, or to get to get better results on what I want to buy. Um, and do you consider that a reasonable trade? And what advice do you have for people who want to search and want to go buy things online and want the convenience of having the system know me well? What are your thoughts and what's your advice briefly on that area? So this is... Uh uh, again, a pretty diverse space, but the ultimate question here is one of consent. These are ultimately individual decisions. If you want to be able to share something about yourself, you should be entitled to make that decision. Uh, but you should never be forced to make that decision. And that's really the difference in a lot of these commercial contexts. Now, there are serious questions uh, about the use and abuse of participation and consent. Are people being misled or are they being misinformed about how their information should be used? Uh, you know, when you say, I want to share this information to, to get, uh, you know, lift from Uber or whatever, uh, so I want the cab driver to know where I'm at, that's one thing to say, but to say that Uber, you know, should hold that information that I ordered this cab at this point forever is a very different thing than saying, yeah, I want them to be able to know today so they can check me out. And that's kind of a space that I think will be developed over time, and we'll have to think a lot more about, is... How do we manage consent? How do we make sure that people understand how their information is being used and that ultimately serves their purposes? Fundamentally, we want to make sure that the services and devices that people pay for are serving them rather than being used against them. So I, I know you.